Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So today we will see that how we can go ahead and do API testing of SOAP using REST Assured. Yes, you heard it correctly. We are trying to test SOAP with REST Assured. So I have been asked recently by some of my subscribers that is it possible that we can test SOAP through REST Assured? So my answer is REST Assured was created basically to test the REST API. Okay, but it is possible to test SOAP also with REST Assured. And today I will show you how we can do that. All right, so this is one of the SOAP project which I have shown you. I have downloaded it through one of the WSDL file. I will give the path of this WSDL file to you also. Okay, so this is the file which I, this is the file name which I found on Google and I just tried it and uh, it was working good. So I thought to use it in the sample. So this is the file, this is a project which you can import through the WSDL which you are given and in that there is a request which I have used before also which convert the dollar like it convert it gives the conversion rate from US dollar to Indian rupees and if you run that it will give you a amount like 70 rupees and 80 pesa okay as of today as of the date I have given here. All right. So now we will try to do the same thing through uh, our project. If you're not sure how I have done that, please look into my previous videos where I have uh, explained you. So if you just want to import it on your SOAP UI, what you need to do, just click on, just go to SOAP, click here in the project name, just give any project name. Let me give it demo. And in WSDL, you just have to copy this link here and click on OK. All right. And in that, if you go to this last request, last updated and run that, so it will give you the date it has been last updated. So I will use the same date. So I will use clicking on copy. And then there is another, uh, there is another request which says get conversion rates. And here I can give this date. I can remove the question mark. Okay, give this date here. Okay, I think I have removed something else also. Okay, give this date here also. In from, I will type UST and to, I will type INR. Okay, and if I run that, I get a response. The similar thing which we'll do from the Java code now. Okay, we are not doing anything in Groovy. We are not doing anything in SOAP UI. We are doing in Java using REST Assured Library. Okay, so how do we do that? All right, so first of all, our response, our request, so our request is a body. In SOAP, you have to send something in your request. You cannot, you know, make it empty. So you just copy this and uh, I have already done that. Let me just show you. I've created one file here. You just have to do a right click of anywhere in your project folder or any folder which you create in your project and click on new and click on file and then you can just you know create an XML file and paste all your content in the file. I have already done that once. So let me show you. So this is a file which I've created in previous example. So this is exactly the copy of this. Okay so if you want we can just remove that and we can copy and paste it here. That's it. So this has been done now. Now what else? So our our file has been created for SOAP. Our body has been created. So what I can do here, I can just call this file into a file input stream. So I will call file input stream and then again file input stream equal to new file input stream. And here I need to give the path of the file where my request is. So this is the request. I will just go to its properties and then I will just copy this. Okay. And I will paste it here. All right. So that's it. So I have given the, or I can, you know, not even give this complete path because this is my project path up to here. Uh, up to here is my project path. I just need to give a dot. Okay, that's it. Nothing else. 
All right, so I have stored that file in a file input stream. Now you know in the rest assured we have to give some base URI, right? So what I will do, I will give a base URI. I will call rest assured dot base URI. In base URI, I will give one URL and that URL is something which I get here in my SOAP, all right? So this is my base URI. I don't will I will not give a, a resource here. I will just copy a base URI. Okay. So here I have given. Oh, oh, I think it's not copied or what? Wait, wait, wait. Let me just open it again. Okay. So this is my base URI. Let me copy it and paste it first someplace. Okay, so I have placed it here and here I will just copy this base URI. All right, and I will put it here in this. All right, so I have given my base URI and now I just need to go ahead and do my given when then and want to store it into some response. So simply I will give response response equal to I will give given dot okay so I can uh, you know uh, give uh, all my given parts so first I will give a header okay given dot wait it's not coming up given dot header all right it came up and here I can give my header and my header will be content type. So you know for XML, we cannot give application JSON or application XML. We have to give text XML. Okay, so this is one of the thing which I have given in the in the given part. So I have given given dot header. Let me just, you know, enter it. And once it is done, uh, what next? We have already given header and now I need to give body. So I will give end and then I can give body. And in the body, I can use that file in for stream. So for that, I need to use IO utils class. So it would be IO utils dot and there is an option called to string. Okay, in that I can give my file input stream. File input stream, comma, and then I need to give its text format. So I will give this. Let me see what is the error it's giving me. Cannot convert from required specification to response. Okay. All right. Why not? Let's see. So maybe some port is not there. Given is there. How about response? All right. IO, 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 IO. Okay. So for now, let's remove this and see if we get the same problem. And now it is not giving us this issue. So we will just store it in response in the end. We will see into that. Okay. And then once it is done, I will give when condition. All right. And in the when, I need to give a URL. So I will give post. Because in uh, SOAP UI, you always have to give a post and you have to give a resource. So I will use the same resource which I have copied from here to here. Control C. And then I will give a resource here. Okay. And just to format it, what I will do, I will put everything here. Okay. So that the formatting is clear. And uh, once it is done, after that, let me just move it back. Okay. Then I need to assert that. 
and for assertion I will use status code and here I want to check the status code as 200 and then I will do end and then I want to log and then all and then dot extract dot response all right and now let's let me try to again store it in response 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 equal to all right so we now we are storing it in the response okay let me just finish this program then i will explain you again what we did and then once we see what we are doing right now nothing we have we are just giving a path of the file where my soap request is there i am doing a, a base uri i have given a base uri which i always give in rest assured okay i'm storing a response and now i have to give given when then i have to type in bd format and given i can give header and i can give body so i can have given header as content type text as xml in the body i have given my file input stream okay for that i have used the iutils so that it can convert it into the string this all file will be converted into a string okay i can directly because it's very tedious to give string you know to make your own string so i have used this iutils all right in the van you have to call the url so i have called dot post and given the resource file name all right and in the then first time checking the status 200 then i am printing everything and then i am extracting a response and that is stored in this response okay once it is done what you can do you can even extract this response and we can use the same strategy we will use the class called xml path we will convert it into the xml path so i will call it as xml path equal to new xml path okay and here i will give response dot as string okay it should be as string response dot as string okay so i'm converting that into the xml path and if i want to fetch something i will just say string rate equal to see this is if you see here when i am running this i am getting something here okay so uh, this one conversion rate request okay i am getting something here when i run this so i just want to you know get this 70 so for that this is the tag get conversion rate result so i want to fetch this and how i am doing that in my code so i have given string and here i want to fetch xml path dot and then here we have option get string okay and here we need to give that uh, variable which that tag which we want to fetch the value which want to fetch okay so i will copy that and i will paste it here okay so i hope this will give me i can assert that or i can just simply print that so it will be system dot out dot print ln and here i can give rate is and then i can give rate simple so i believe this rest assured is very simple you have to just give everything in gwt you have to give header you have to give body you have to post and then you have to you know see the code you have to extract the response and then you can you can just convert that response in maximal path and then you can get anything so even if you know there are more hierarchy we through this x path we can go ahead and we can find out anything in the hierarchy once it is done we just have to run it and see what is the response which we're getting are we getting similar response or a different response okay so let's run this okay so we get one error okay so it says assertion error okay 200 it's not matching so let's see why it is not matching if it gives us any error here all right let me see okay here it's everything is fine 
and here if we see that so request one dot xml is correct this is also correct response given header type text xml and and converter we are converting from one to another okay so it seems we are not getting this code so let me check the url if it's correct or not it is correct okay the url is correct here oh so we have missed a spelling here it's content type all right small mistake content type let's run it again Okay, so it has been run and it has been passed. Okay, you see that it has sent us some kind of a headers to us. It has sent us the complete body. And now we can also see, you know, we are getting these values, right? And we are able to fetch these values and we can assert that on these values also. All right. So you have seen that we have successfully run that SOAP request through rest assured okay so if you want to do that you can implement that in your project also all right so if you like the video please like it and uh, let me know uh, like uh, if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching